Hey guys, so this won't be the first time that I've told you this, and I'm sure it won't be the last. So, I've spoke to someone recently in the state of Georgia. I just so happened to have on one of the main city sweatshirt, and there are a lot of people who are down there. You know, you guys have your own trio of consultants and coaches down there who are um, getting you guys licensed, getting you through the application process, and then encouraging you to be, you know, get Medicaid certified specifically with the GAP program. And that is, um, there are several Medicaid programs, but that, this one is specific towards um, pediatric care for medically fragile, um, intellectually disabled, special needs, technology dependent. There's several different um, ways to describe some of those individuals. And so what um, I heard today, like I said, this is not the first time. It is pretty obvious to me that there is about to be a macroeconomic issue. And please forgive me if I'm talking to you in big words. There's about to be too many suppliers and not enough supply, okay? So <laughs> that means um, that there's several providers, but not enough clients, let alone not enough nurses, right? So all of this easy, easy, easy is about to get real interesting. So here's the problem I saw a long time ago, or as they say, a mile away. A lot of you guys don't do your market research, so you really don't know too much about demographics. And even though I believe it's still opportunity there, you are basically in what's called a red ocean. And for marketing, for for us people who understand marketing business, a red ocean means that um, the waters are so bloody because there's so many sharks there. There's so many sharks going after the same fish. The fish in this instance are these medically fragile, technology dependent, intellectual disability, special needs children, and that could be from birth up until around age 22. So on one particular incident, I was speaking to a gentleman who's from Houston, moved to Atlanta, started his business, is in business, basically he's licensed, he's a Medicaid provider. So I would have to tip my hat off and say that these coaches or consultants have done their job. But, and that's a big capital B, capital U, capital T, capital T, what we don't know or what you don't know can hurt you and i heard so i heard a ceo say that to me several years ago um he said sean it's not it's not the 90 percent that you know or that you know my staff my staff or whoever knows that um scares me it's the 10 percent that you don't know that terrifies me and when he said that that just sat with me because he was very successful so i'm like listening to every word he had to say so what I had told him was, or what I'm trying to share with you here, is that there is not, underlying, there is not an unlimited amount of clients in that state. And there are a certain amount, the population, you know how like you see, there are 10,000 um senior to turn 65 every month or every day, right? That is not the same number. That is not the same data, the same statistics that you are going to find in this medically fragile, technology dependent, special needs community. That number is much smaller. So you are essentially going after the same fish, the same client. And how are you going to measure up? So what do you do in this instant? You need to find out what that number is. 
you need to find out what that number is. And if you can, you need to find out how many clients some of these bigger um, pediatric home care agencies that may have even helped you get started, how many clients do they have? Because they are not sharing, right? So what's going to be your market share, right? What's going to be your piece of the pie, as they say on the Jeffersons? <laughs> we finally got a piece of the pie. Well, what if all you got is one slice? Mm, 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 mm. Fish don't fry in the kitchen. Beans don't cook on the grill. Took a whole lot of applying just to get up that hill. Boom, boom. Now, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm not trying to discourage you. And when I spoke to a young lady today, she said, I'm licensed, I'm approved, I love Medicaid, but I don't have any of those clients because it's hard to get clients and it's hard to get the workers and that was her current situation and she knew a lot of these bigger agencies and stuff like that all i'm trying to encourage you to do is to know where you stand and how you can position yourself and if i can share a bible verse it says who starts i'm going to say a business a home care business or a pediatric business and does not consider the cost meaning not necessarily the cost like how much it's going to start to start that agency but the cost of what it's going to take for it to grow to scale and be successful okay